Uh, the Cleveland Browns minus four versus the New York Giants. I believe in this game, and the Giants defense I like a lot. I believe that there will be, let's see here, 53 points scored in this game. Let's get back to the starts and sits. Cleveland Browns, I am not. Look, I like the way Baker Mayfield's playing. The New York Giants defense, you got to respect them. I'm not going to play Baker Mayfield. Super flex, you can play him. I, I'm not going to play him in redraft in spite of what he's been doing lately. And uh, respect to Baker, but I'm not going to play him. Both running backs I play, and I play Jarvis Landry. I'm staying away from everybody else. For the Giants, I don't like anything outside of Sterling Shepard this week. Sterling Shepard, I like the matchup. I'm staying away from everybody else. So there you go. Now back to the spread. Cleveland on the road, minus four. I'm a believer in Cleveland. Computer projections have Cleveland 30. Giants 24, that's a close cover for Cleveland. I'm more inclined, I know I've been staying away from some close covers before, I'm more inclined to, to go with Cleveland because I like the way that they run the ball and they can close out games. So in a game, they're not just holding on for dear life, although we have seen that. Um, when they take a big lead, their prevent defense is, uh, to, in my opinion, not so good. I know Cleveland Browns fans, you'll say, oh, you don't understand the execution of a prevent defense. I do, and it's not good. Cleveland Browns. So if they take a big lead, I, I, I'm more worried about it. But I think it'll be one of these games where Cleveland's probably going to be up by like 10 or 15 all game. And I don't think that the New York Giants are, are good enough offensively to close points and droves. So I'll take the Cleveland Browns to cover this spread. Next game, we 